Hey man, I know I'm new to all this PC stuff, but is it just me or does Nvidia kind of weird about how they name their graphics cards? Oh boy, every PC builder has to go through this, trying to understand Nvidia. It's okay, I'm here if you have any questions. Actually, yes, I do have questions. Why did they end the Titan series? Oh, my beautiful Titan cards, how I miss thee. No, seriously, what happened to those cards? They looked awesome. There's a couple of reasons behind it, mainly because it would cost too much to keep making. Oh, come on, people would have bought the entire stock of those things. That's true. And Nvidia did have a prototype of the 30 series Titan card, but it kept melting power supplies. Oh, okay, well that makes sense to not release it then. Yeah, we got a little taste of that with the 4090s melting their power connectors. Okay, but forget about Titan cards. What does TI and Super and Founders Edition card mean? Uh, that's the age old question. Do those versions of the graphics cards have better performance or are they just different names for the sake of it? Founders Edition is just a version of the graphics card that Nvidia manufactured themselves. And these Founders Edition cards don't have any performance boosts. They might be slightly better in terms of cooling and noise, but for the most part, the performance is the same. So it's just a collector's item? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, what about TI and Super? TI graphics cards are upgraded versions of cards that we already got. For example, the 4070 and the 4070 TI. Okay, what about the 4070 Super and the 4070 TI Super? Those are also upgraded cards. Okay, but in what way are they upgraded? Kind of depends on what generation you're talking about. For the 40 series, it's mainly just a higher clock speed. Oh, that's not really much of an upgrade. Honestly, man, Super cards are just a product refresh in disguise. TI cards are the real upgrade. Oh, that's odd. Well, what about 16 series cards? I keep seeing people raving about how good those were. Those people are right. The 16 series cards were a great mid-range lineup in between the 10 series and the 20 series. Wait, so Nvidia released a whole lineup of budget cards? That doesn't seem very... Nvidia. Yeah, because they never did it again. Wait, why? I'd love to have something in between the 30 and 40 series. Yeah, let's just be happy the 16 series cards even happened in the first place. So does Nvidia just do random sh every generation? Yeah, pretty much. Should I even try to guess what they're gonna do for the 50 series? I keep seeing rumors about maybe doing Titan cards again. Those rumors come around every generation and we have no clue what's gonna happen until Nvidia actually announces it. I'll just... Take what I can, I guess. That's the spirit. Stop trying to understand and get ready to pay $2,000 for a 5090.